Hello everyone, Black Rose Duelist here, and today I'm talking about Bosch, Breakers of Shadows. Breakers of the Shadows is one of the best packs of all time, if not the best stack of the whole time. You know what, I'm titling this video, Bosch, Breakers of Shadows is the best pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards to ever be released. This, this pack. Now, the reason why I say that is, if you look at just the cards that we got in the set. Solemn Strike, the new Cosmo support, Ariadne, the new Magic Spectre support, um, the new Pepe support, basically making Performer Pels and Performer Mages the best deck of the format just out of this pack. Um, arguably, they're just as strong, or they are just as strong, even stronger thing than uh, Dragon Rollers back when they were running the thing. And now it's going to be the same thing with this set, but there's really not a competing deck like Spellbooks were at the time. So, I can't wait for the next huge event like a YCS. Because you're going to see, I'm going to say at least 20 of the top 36 will be Pepe. Um, the new Magician, the Spellcaster Magician, one that destroys the scales and searching. The um, Here, I'll just go get them. I just bought 10 packs, so I'm, I'm sure they're here somewhere. Um, but the new Monkey Board, they're the key whatever that was, the new Gee Turtle, they just make the thing crazy, okay, so, they also have Draco Face Off, so, uh, partner that up with, um, the new Luster Pendulum, or, Pe Luster Pendulum, and the new guy, too, it's just crazy, and you have the new Fusion as well, so you can throw that in there, um, the deck's just crazy, uh, this is Monkey Board, uh, when he's in your Pendulum Zone, you can search for another, um, uh, perform a pal pendulum and you should go for the gee turtle i might play the engine without the um tur uh without the spellcaster magician because he's like a hundred dollars and i can't afford three of those so i might just run the, the engine in my magic specters i don't know but i am selling this so i will leave a link in the description below i said i would last time when i pulled it but um it just sold before i could even do it so um I am selling the Solemn Note or Solemn Strike, and I just bought ten packs, and this is the reason why the set is so good. Not just because of the cards that come with it, but the chances of you getting good cards. Okay, so you're guaranteed a holographic card in every pack. So the chances of you getting a secret rare or an ultra rare are very, very high. So I got, um, I got ten packs, and I think one, two, three, four, five. Six. Six were super, two were ultras, and two were secrets. And that's pretty good because every single secret in this set is good. Except for um the I think it's um one of the luster or um one of the Buster Blader secrets or something like that. Um the Raflesia girl, the trap tricks Raflesia is very, very good. Solemn Strike, the Perform Pal. Even Cosmojo and the Cosmo ship. And then um, you also have things like uh, the uh, Cyber Infinity. So I have pulled Cyber Infinity and Solemn Strike in 10 packs. My two sneak peeks. And I sold both of those and got $150. Minus the shipping and stuff, it's like more like $130. Um, but I'm just saying... I bought 20 packs in total now, and I've gotten four secret rares, two of them being uh, Solemn Strike, one of them being Cyber Infinity, and one of them being Cosmojo. I'm not saying this to brag, I'm just saying it so you can get an idea of how easy it is to pull a secret, and since all of these secrets are so easy to get, it, it makes it so you can get really, really expensive good cards, and it's really worth your buck, this pack. So... There's already like five cards. Solemn Strike is going for about 80 right now, or 70, 80. Um, Infinity is going for 60, 70. The Performa Pal is going for like 100. So uh, lots of expensive cards, and it's very, very worth, well worth your money in my opinion. Um, so some other cards I got out of the 10 packs today. I got the Solemn Strike, Magic Specter Ogama, which I needed, Guiding Aradine or Ar Aradine or something, Magic Specter Supercell, which I needed. Quakey Mirror Force, Cosmo Tin Can, and Cosmojo. So, just out of 10 packs, and the other three, I think, were supers. Um, I got really, really good cards. And no matter how you boil it down, you're bound to get a, something good out of, like, 10 packs. 
uh, I'm learning probability now in school, and you're, the probability is extremely high for you to get something of value, at least in 10, 15 packs. Um, maybe not the value of Strike, but maybe even a Cosmo Tin Can or a Cosmo Joe. Something is bound to happen in your pulls. Um, the chance of you getting all supers in 10 packs is very, very low. So, um, I think this is the best pack because, A, the cards that are coming in it, Salm Strike, changing the game, Cyber Infinity, changing the game, the Monkey Board, all them. It's going to change the format in general. Um, the, this for, this pack is format defined like uh, Tachyon Galaxy, wise, or was, uh, how it added Spell Book of Judgment, and all the Dragon Rulers. This is basically that pack again. You get the final, like, not maybe not the final, but you get more Cosmo support, which is probably the rivaling deck to Pepe. Either that or Magic Specters are. And then you also have um, Pepe, which would be the Dragon Rulers in this case. And then even that pack didn't have just randomly very good cards like Strike. So... This pack is definitely worth your money. Breakers of Shadows, go to your local Walmart or Target and pick up, I think, at least five. It's only $20, um, and you can get yourself some really cool stuff. Um, I don't know what I really want to play now, because now that I got a lot of the Cosmos stuff from the pools, I kind of actually want it. I have most of the stuff um, from the previous packs, but I did sell my Farm Girls, and I have to get Farm Girls and Dark Destroyer, so that would be rough. But I probably just would buy more of the recent secret rare big ship because that's only going for 15 ish so who knows i might actually play cosmo they're really cool so if you enjoyed this video please make sure to like comment and subscribe if you agree with me that bosch is the best uh set of all time comment below uh tell me you agree or tell me if you disagree and tell me what you think is the only one i think is probably i don't know um the turn of the duelist, I think it was. The one with or revolution of the duelist or something like that. The one with power duality was a really big uh, power duality and effect veiler. And solemn morning, maybe? I think solemn morning came in storm of Ragnarok. I'm not sure. All this stuff is blurring together. Um, but I think it was solemn morning, power duality, and effect veiler all came in return, uh, re revolution of the duelist or something like that. It was the one with the, it was green. It had the uh, you say it's fusion dragon guy on it. Um, that pack or Lord of Tachyon Galaxy or this. Those are definitely, I think, the top three. So, again, comment below what you think the best set of all time is. I think it's this. Go buy some packs. You'll get something good. If you want to buy some Strike, I'll have it in the uh, eBay in the link below. So, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.